Ikoya. I'm the creator and founder of Silky Sex, a luxury hair care company, and I'm here today to do a review on this wig pop, Afro Bella wig. So if this is your first time coming over to Silky Sex, I want to say hello and welcome. Here we do wig reviews, hair tips. We give you hair tutorials every Monday and Friday. So if you like that kind of thing, please consider subscribing. And if you're a returning Silky Chick, hey boo, thanks for coming back. If you're watching over on Facebook, we love you over on FB too. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about Afro Bella. Okay, so first of all, I want to say happy Black History Month. It is Black History Month here in the U.S. of A. And I wanted to start off the month reviewing a Afro wig because Afros are really just a legendary and such a beautiful hairstyle here in the Black community. It started in the 70s with people just wanting to be proud of their natural hair and what they looked like and what um, they represented instead of trying to always like, you know, before having to assimilate and, you know, braid your hair or straighten your hair, people were just really taking pride in their afros and what they look like. And it was really more of a statement of, you know, self-love and respect. So I really, really wanted to review a afro wig um, and a wig that, you know, is a newer wig because there's a lot of afro wigs out there, but this is a newer wig that just came out maybe last year or the year before, I think, by Outre. It's a part of their wig pop collection. Now, if you're not familiar with their wig pop collection, the wig pop collection is synthetic wigs. There's no lace. They're very easy, supposed to be throw on and goes. And they have a lot of style, big on style and colors. And so I was excited to try Afro Bella, but you guys, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I think maybe it's the color. I don't know, but I'm not really feeling Afro Bella. I do have another Afro wig by Janet Collection that I absolutely love, but we're not talking about that. We're going to talk about this one. So let's just go ahead and get into this. So she is a full synthetic wig. Like I said, she's supposed to be an easy throw and go. I am rocking her in the color caramel. They also have her in chocolate swirl, cinnamon wine, and um, an H28044, which looks like, like a black color. Um, so here is her stock card. And I think she looked really cute on the stock card. What I liked about her is most Afro wigs are like really, really big. And to me, she was more of a smaller tapered Afro wig. And that's what I liked. Oh, it also comes with the uh, hair care instructions. But anyways, she was a smaller taper wig. And so that's what I liked. I wanted to try that. And then I have not seen anybody review Afro Bella. And now I'm seeing why. Y'all probably got Afro Bella and just didn't put her out here because you didn't like her when you put it on. Hmm. Is that what it is? You got Afro Bella and you didn't like her? Just tell me. Just tell me. So anyway, the texture on Afro Bella, of course, is a yakier texture. Um, she definitely is mimicking Afro uh, American hair that, you know, texture. I think the color for me, you know, I wanted to try a blonde because I like blonde wigs, but I think the color maybe is what it is. It's just not right. I don't know if it's because it has the highlights. It's not all one color. I don't know, but that's that. So Stay to the end, watch me style, unbox Afro Bella, and you can hear, you know, what I actually think of the unit, because, you know, she is a fairly decent wig. And also for Black History Month, please watch the end of the video because I am going to be giving you black businesses to shop all month so that we can help support the culture and help move these black businesses forward. So I will be wearing t-shirts from black businesses and um, black creators. And then I also will be, you know, shouting out black businesses. So please stay to the end so that you can see all of that. And if you are looking for a way to stop destroying your wigs, to take care of them, to get more out of them, please check out our free download. It is five things that you could be doing right now that is destroying your wigs. It is down in the description box along, you know, with everything else. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this wig review. Y'all be nice in them comments. Y'all be nice in them comments. All right. All right, so here she is, Miss Afro Bella. Let's go ahead and try her on. All right, so here Afro Bella is out of the track. She got like some really platinum hair in here. I thought it was like all one color, but it's not. It's Mini, I don't know if it's, you can see it's different colors. Okay. A little nervous, but we're going to try it on. Let's go ahead, you know, and get into this cap. Okay, she don't want to go inside out, okay? She's like, no. 
Koya, I'm an afro. I'm supposed to be the other way. All right, so the cap is enclosing the front, opening the back, so you got that stretch. We have the comb in the back with the two typical adjustable straps, and then you have the two combs on the side. So let's go ahead and put Afro Bella on. She feeling snug. Afro Bella is snug, okay? I ain't gonna be able to put no wig grip or nothing like that on. Okay, and we got to shape Afro Bella, okay? We just got to go ahead and shape Afro Bella because right now she is giving me Party City. Party City clown wig. And that's not what we trying to do, okay? It's Black History Month and we trying to give you Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. So I'm going to give you this 360 and then we're going to have to go ahead and go in here and get Afro Bella together. So Afro Bella in the front, Afro Bella to the right, Afro Bella to the left. I'm just going to make sure I'm all up in here because like I said, she is snug. Afro Bella to the back. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and style Afro Bella. I'm gonna come back, give you my pros and cons and final thoughts on this unit, so stay tuned. Afro Bella. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So when I took her out of the pack, as you've seen, Afro Bella was looking crazy. She was definitely not shaped, definitely not tapered like she is on the stock card. So I did go in with some mousse and she is a color synthetic wig to just kind of um, bring the frizzes and frays together and because it looks kind of dry just to moisten it up a little bit and then I took my pick and picked it out now when I picked it out I didn't really like how it looked I felt like it was like a getting a little too big and looking a little bit too clowny where what initially drew me to this afro wig is on the stock card it's more tapered and more of a smaller afro wig because I have a big afro wig that I really love but I wanted to try something smaller so I picked it out and it got big and I probably shouldn't have done that. I wish I wouldn't have picked it out so much, but you, I had to even it out because she was just like looking like a cone, I guess, from being in the packaging. And so I decided to go ahead and try to cut Afro Bella to taper her to my face. I did all right, but because she's small, I don't know if you can see, but on the sides here, she is coming out. So you can see um, the sides here. So I cut her, I cut her, I cut her. So if there's hair all over me, I'm sorry in my eye. I did my best to get it out. And then I went in. I love this. If you haven't watched my video for tips on styling Yaki Texture wigs, definitely please go try it out because this spray is awesome. It works very well. That blue spray that you see me using works really, really well. Here it is. The uh, oil-free shine on these Yaki or Textured wigs, especially these blonde colored wigs. I feel like they look dry. So she is a part of the wig pop series which is supposed to be an easy throw on and go but as you've seen there was a lot of styling more styling than i expected so to me this is not what i would consider an easy throw on and go so let's go ahead and get into the pros and the cons of afro bella so for the pros she's an afro we all love an afro i know i do i definitely love an afro I think that she is cute because she the the way she is supposed to look on the stock card, the smaller little tapered looking afro, I think that's super cute because most afro wigs tend to be like really, really big, big hair don't care. And I definitely love the big hair don't care afros, but I wanted to try something different for Black History Month and something smaller. So 
um, that. Now, that's really it, you guys. As far as the cons, I feel like I have a lot. The color, I don't think the color looks good. I think that if I would have tried a natural color, maybe I would have liked it more. You know, blonde is my thing. If you watch me here a lot, I like to try blonde wigs, but this one, I don't know what it is about afros are super curly blonde synthetic wigs. I have tried a lot of them and I have never found one that I really, really have liked yet. So if you know one that you like, please share it in the comments and let me know. Um, and then she's small. So as you can see, you know, if I would have got a black one, it probably would have did a little better. But this blonde on the side, I've did my best to try to, you know, pull it and hide it. But you can see it. So her being a smaller, a smaller, a smaller uh, wig, I did not like that. You know, some of us have bigger heads, long hair that we're trying to hide under these wigs. And, you know, when it's a smaller wig, it kind of makes it hard for you to work with. Yeah. So for me, it's the color. Um... To me, it's just giving like a little bit of clowny vibes. So even with all the shaping and stuff and then having to go on and shape it, um, I feel like it, it should be a lot less hair um, here. It wasn't really giving me the stock card look. And I did my best to try to get it back, but I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments what you guys think. But yeah, this one is a no for me. But when I take this wig off, I'm not going to put it back into the plus that I came out of. I'm going to put it in my luxurious silky sack. A silky sack is a silk line bag that I invented to not only store your wigs in, but to add longevity to them. The silk lining allows your hair to just glide, cutting down on the shedding, tangling, and matting that it would do if you were to place it back into the plastic in a box, in a drawer, on your dresser, or wherever you're placing your wigs. So if you would like to check out silky sacks and some of the fabulous products that we sell for you to style and take care of your wigs the link to the website will be down in the description box and now it is time for my black business shout out and subscriber shout out so black business shout out gotta shout out myself silky sacks we have our silky chick tees the link to it will be down if you're a silky chick if you're an individual who loves the finer things in life and is glamorous, then you are definitely a silky chick. So we have the shirts expressing it. And um, the link, like I said, it will be down below. And then for my subscriber, shout out. Shout out to Pam's Beauty and Lifestyle Review. She is a beauty and lifestyle channel. So if you're into seeing makeup, beauty products, lifestyle content, then you definitely want to check her channel out. The link will be down in the description box. Thank you so much, Pam, for visiting the channel and leaving me a comment. As always, I want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you like this kind of content, if you like wig reviews, hair tips, hair tutorials, that kind of thing, then definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, you'll be notified. We drop videos every Monday and Friday, like I said earlier. And that is it. Again, happy Black History Month, and I hope to see you in the next video.